okay so in this video we'll be talking about electrical supplies and materials okay so we have now here so electrical materials are developed and constructed for a special purpose such as to the flow of current in an electrical circuit so the um, electrical materials so one of its purpose is to facilitate the flow of current in an electrical circuit okay then we have carry electrical current from the source to the load or current consuming apparatus so meaning to carry the current to the load no or to the appliances or to the lamp in which we need to have the current in order to operate or to function those loads then we have hold and secure wires to its fixtures inside and outside houses and buildings so to hold the wires no in its place and also to protect the wires and to protect the houses buildings and appliances and instruments from any destruction and damage so that is to um, protect uh, the facilities no or the buildings the houses the loads in case of faults no so that is one of the purpose of electrical materials okay so if we have first here our first electrical material so we have convenience outlet so a device that acts as a convenient source of electrical energy for current consuming appliances it is where the male plug of an appliance is inserted and usually fastened on the wall or connected in an extension cord it may be single duplex triplex or multiplex and could be surface type or flash type so convenience outlet is where we are going to get the source for our current consuming appliances so that's why it is called convenience outlet because it is a convenient source of electricity so it is where our mail plug or the plug of the appliances is to be inserted so that we could get the electricity on it no so it could be um, put on a wall or connected on an extension cord so just like an extension a wire no so we have here the surface type no um convenience outlet so it is duplex so meaning we have two outlets in one device so this is a one convenience outlet this is another one then we have also a flash type no? when you see flash type it is um embedded on the wall so this is a flash type convenience outlet Okay, next we have mail plug so mail plug is a device inserted to a convenience outlet to conduct electric current so a flat cord is attached to it uh, to it on one end and the other end is connected to a current consuming instrument or appliances okay so a mail plug is connected or is attached to a flat cord no so it is all then it is in it will be inserted to a mail plug so that we could get the electricity for our current consuming instrument or appliance okay so this is the usual appearance of a mail plug so for as you can see we have two metallic plate here no so these two metallic plate are the one in which we are going to uh, these are the ones who are going to be inserted on the convenience outlet okay next we have lamp holders no so a device that hold and protect the lamp and are also called lamp sockets or receptacles no so this come uh, they may come in many designs and sizes no they are classified as flash hanging so whether probe chain and surface type so if we have our lamp and especially our lamp comes in the form of a bulb so we need to have lamp holders or lamp sockets or the other term for that is lamp receptacles for us to be able to um, get no? to get electricity or to supply electricity on our bulb and also to hold our bulb and protect its um, protect protect the bulb from um, weather or from damage no so these are the different types of um, lamp holder so first we have the flash type no so this is the flash type then we have the hanging chain so as you can see we have a chain here the surface type then hanging weather okay 
Next, we have switch. So, switch is a device that connects and disconnects the flow of electric current in a circuit. So, there, there are many shapes, designs, and types, and they are classified as hanging, flash, and surface type. So, the main purpose of a switch is to connect and disconnect no? the flow of electrical current in a circuit. So, uh, when we say connect, so if you turn on the switch, so it will connect, no? connect the uh, the device, no, or connect the whole circuit, no. So that so when the switch is on, there is a path, no, a, a path, a complete path to hold the circuit. So therefore, our appliances or our lights will operate. For in case if you are going to turn off our switch, then it will disconnect the flow of current. So our circuit now will be considered as open or off. So we have different types of that, no, switch, no. So we have hanging, flash, and surface types okay so these are the appearance of surface type switches and we have also the flash type no and the hanging type okay then we have fuse no so a fuse is a circuit protective device that automatically blows and cut out the current when an overload or short circuit happen so during a fault no the fault will could be overload or short circuit the fuse will automatically blows no so meaning after after it serves its purpose, so for example, there is a short circuit, then the fuse will not uh, will blow and it will blow or its a filament will cut off. Then therefore, it cannot be used anymore. So meaning you need to replace a new fuse, no, so that you could um, you could use the circuit again. But before you are going to replace a new fuse, so be sure that the that you have uh, managed no, to fix the fault no, of the circuit. Okay, so this is the different types of fuse. We have the knife, blade, the cartridge, and the plug types. So, commonly on residential wiring, we are using the cartridge fuse. Then you have circuit breakers, so a protective device used to automatically blows and cut off the current when trouble in a circuit such as short circuit and overload of course so a circuit breaker um, it um, functions uh, the same with the fuse but the difference is a circuit breaker once it uh, it um, senses a short circuit or a fault or an overload it will turn off or trip no so it will trip then after you you manage to fix the fault the overload or the short circuit you could turn again you, you can turn on again the uh, the circuit breaker so you did not need no you don't need to replace the circuit breaker no compared to the fuse so once it when it serves its purpose if it uh, already blown out during a short circuit then you need to replace a new fuse on the circuit after you already fixed the fault no so this is a common um, appearance of a circuit breaker so this is a three pole circuit breaker so when you say three pole you have three pairs of terminal no so we have one two three so me so the this part here is the load side and uh, the line side and this part here is the load side of the circuit okay then you have the junction box so uh, these are a uh, junction box is an octagonal shape electrical material where the connection or joints of wires are being done so it is it is also where the flash type lamp holder is attached so this could be made of metal or plastic pvc or fully vinyl chloride no so we have this one here so this is the plastic or the non-metallic junction box and we have the metal so the purpose of junction box is where we are going to put our connections or our splicings no so this is where the uh, junction box is very important no? so the, the plastic and the metal okay next we have the utility box so a utility box is a rectangular shape metallic or plastic no pvc material in which flash type convenience outlet and switch are attached okay so a utility box is a rectangular shape no pvc or plastic material so in the utility box that is where we are going to put our um, outlet no flash type outlet or switch okay so we have here the metal no metal utility box and the plastic or the non-metallic utility box 
Then we have flat cord. So flat cord is a duplex wire used for temporary wiring installation and commonly used in extension cord assembly. So it comes in a roll of 150 meters and with the sizes of gauge number 18 and gauge number 16. So American wire gauge. No? So the flat cord is usually used for temporary wiring. So meaning it is not used permanently. So sometimes the or the most common use of a flat cord is on extension wires. Okay. So we have here the appearance of a flat cord. So it is duplex, so meaning um, two in one. No? So two wires in one um, in one assembly here. No. So this is um, a piece of flat cord. So this is one roll of a flat cord. An electrical wire or conductor. So electrical material or electrical wire could be stranded. So where, which it is made of multiple strands joined together to make a single wire. So stranded, so multiple wires to make a single wire. Solid is just a single strand of copper or aluminum wire. So the usual um, type of wires we are going, uh, the, the usual material of wire that we are going to use on um residential and commercial wiring is it could be copper or aluminum so these are used in wiring solution inside and outside buildings okay so we have here the uh the appearance of a stranded wire and the appearance of a solid wire so usually a stranded wire has seven strands no? seven strands made into one no then a solid wire has only one no one single strand then risway so risway is an is an electrical material or electrical materials used as the passage of wires for protection and insulation so this could be wire waste cable trays rigid metallic flexible metallic conduit rigid and metallic which are also called as fully vinyl chloride conduit and flexible non metallic or corrugated plastic conduit no? okay so we have here the appearance of the common no? common uh, metal, uh, common conduit that we are going to use on residential and commercial wiring. So we have here the metallic conduit, the flexible metallic conduit, or flexible and metallic conduit, or the cor cor corrugated, corrugated plastic conduit, and we have the rigid non-metallic conduit, or the polyvinyl chloride conduit. Then we have clamps. So clamps are electrical materials used to hold and anchor electrical conduits in its proper position okay so the purpose of a clamp no or the purpose of clamps are to hold the conduits in its position so we have here the metal clamp and we have also the plastic or non-metallic clamp okay so usually the the metal clamp are put in place by using a screw no? a screw while the plastic clamp is using a concrete nail or uh, uh, nail for woods no? okay next we have connectors no so used to attach metallic or non-metallic conduit to the junction or utility box so for example if you have uh, if you if you are now con trying to connect a utility box to a conduit so at the end of the conduit you will put a connector so that is uh, used so that our um, conduit will be attached no? or will be fastened to the um, utility or junction box okay so we have the appearance here of our connectors we have the metal connector and the flexible and metallic connector for the uh, rigid and metallic conduit or the pvc conduit we have also the straight connector no see so it is um common it is um like this one the flexible non-metallic uh, connector but without this slot here so because this slot here for the flexible and metallic conduit it, it is used to secure the connector to the um to the corrugate, corrugated flexible conduit no but for the uh, rigid and metallic conduit so we don't have any slot here it, it will just slide through no or fit through the uh, rigid non metallic conduit okay so that will be all for this video discussion on electrical supplies and materials as we go deeper on our discussion on on um, commercial and residential wiring we will be also um, discussing the 
each of the types no, of these common electrical materials that we have discussed. So for example, switch, so we have many uh, types of switches. So we have the push button, we have the uh, rocker switch, the toggle switch. We will discuss this one, those as we go along with our discussion in commercial and residential wirings. For, for now, we'll just be um, having the overview of the common electrical supplies and materials. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something and as always, enjoy learning.